The first step of Ikejime is to euthanize the fish before it can begin to experience the effects of suffocation. It begins by uh, plunging a brain spike into its brain. And what that does is it limits the accumulation of lactic acid, it limits the accumulation of stress hormones, and it also limits the increase in core body temperature. An easy way to sort of locate the brain is to identify first its operculum, and then most fish also have this line right here called the preoperculum. So the convergence of both the midline and also the preopercular line is, is a great guideline for where the brain is located. So do you see how the, the dorsal fin flared here? Okay, so this fish now can no longer experience stress of suffocation. When you use a brain spike, you're effectively playing defense against a, a host of natural consequences that are gonna occur when something is stressed to death.